What up guys, welcome back to another episode of Road to Worlds. As you guys have seen, I've been dealing with a back injury. And shout outs to Justin Kalkin. He was a former Barber Brigade member, ended up moving out here to Vegas. And he's been dealing with crazy back injuries for the last couple of years. And when he saw that I posted that I had a back injury, he was like, dude, you gotta check out Dr. Phil Young. He's healed my low back and he is insane. And I was like, dude, I'm super desperate. As you guys have seen, there's some sessions where I'm deadlifting only 135 because I'm in so much pain. I'm squatting 135. Some sessions I'm not even squatting. I'm just doing belt squats because I can't even load the spine. So I hit up Dr. Phil Young and this is our third or fourth session together? Third. Third session together and my back has been healing at an exponential rate it went from not even being able to like brush my teeth like bending over like this i can't even brush my teeth i couldn't even sneeze if taika wanted to jump on me i'm like get out of here because everything hurts to now being able to do stuff like this like moving around like so my day-to-day -day, i don't feel pain anymore where i was literally feeling pain every minute of the day from just doing it, everything like that so i wanted to walk through some sessions and for anyone that's in the vegas area um please check them out with your ig it's uh, advantage underscore physical therapy yeah please check them out because he has been healing my lower back and it's incredible um and i feel like i'm actually gonna make it to nationals healthy in one piece so what's step one what are we gonna all do? right so um, I already kind of know what's going on with Bart. Um, I know that he's having some SI problems and um, some lumbar pain. So we're, I already know that. So um, typically I would assess and see how things are going, um, but he's already made drastic gains with healing. So step one, we're gonna start off with just the dry needling. So he's gonna lay down on the table and we'll jump into dry needling right away. I'm gonna start with the like the, the gluteal region and then I'm gonna pop up here and do that uh, that lumbar region like I was telling you that I was gonna do today. Okay. All right, first muscle, piriformis. First needle of the day. Here it comes. You okay? Yep. Okay. Okay, going in. Good? Yep. Okay, we're hitting the other side of the piriformis. Right there. Here Free. it comes. Right, this is where I need to use this special technique I learned. Use the needle tube. <laughs> is it because he has buns of steel? Yeah. <laughs> it's all, all these power lifters, it's, it's really hard to get the needle in. Um, and so I use the tube to just push it in because it bends so we, so much. How are you feeling? Good. It feels less painful than before. So that's the reason why I asked because uh, before when, when my back injury was really fresh, every needle that went in, it started twisting. It would feel really achy, but it feels like as I'm healing, it feels achy still, but um, not as achy as before. And what's cool is uh, last time he let me twist my own needle just to feel the how it feels like. And it, it's, it's crazy, like the achiness and the twisting of the needle. Ooh, yeah, like that one right there. That is glute mead. Yeah. Glute mead and glute man. That is like, a, that's your that's your spot. Glute, that, yeah, glute that's, mead. That's so I'm using longer needles today, going all the way to the... Yeah, that's whatever's going on is definitely affected. 
Yeah, we're going all the way to the um the pelvis. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. This this is this is your treatment. Yeah, those are the spots for sure. Yeah, every morning I wake up. Those are like the first parts that are like the most achy because I'm just I'm just laying there all night. And so like I try to remember how I feel in the morning because you know like throughout the day like your body kind of warms up and it kind of forgets what parts are the ones that bother the most. So every morning I wake up, I try to like do like a little assessment and go, okay, which parts are still very, very achy. And uh, I think glute meat is definitely one of them. So the research says anywhere from eight to 15 minutes, I just leave them in. Well, they're going to be left in for a lot longer than, um, eight to 10 minutes because I'm needling as I go. Right. And then I hook up the electrical stimulation for 10 minutes. Um, so he'll have good at least 10 to 15 minutes of all the needles in. But there's three things that the needles do. Um, number one, it brings blood flow for healing. Got it. Better than even a soft tissue massage can. Like it's deep healing. You're actually piercing tissue, which creates blood deep down, not just on the surface, right? So you're getting um, sometimes I'll, I'll ligament, uh, uh, today I'll, I'll needle his ligaments and his ligaments are kind of sprained. So I'll needle those ligaments, create that blood flow in the ligaments, um, which causes healing. So number one, uh, the dry needles bring blood flow. Number two, it releases the tension. So like you can stretch, let's say you, you stretch a muscle, you're stretching only the fibers of the muscle that don't have the knot of that trigger point, right? So it's not as effective because um, you're only stretching part of your muscle, right? So you stick a needle in that, that knot and it releases that knot. Now you stretch, you're gonna stretch every single fiber of that muscle. So you're gonna get much more tension release. So blood flow, tension release, and then the third benefit of it is it actually causes, and they're finding this more and more with the research, it causes a neurological response that decreases the stimulus of pain. Mm -hmm. So, really pretty cool. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, shit. Dude, you needed that. That's all the way down into the muscles. Deep around uh, the spinal canal. The vertebrae. I got a twitch response with that one, which is what we're looking for. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of, in this, you got the uh, spinous process of the vertebrae, and then there's like a like grooves on both sides of that. There's a lot of muscle on both sides of that. Mm. Yeah, it's actually freaking looking. When he's doing, so he was doing my leg the other day, and I would actually prefer not to look at it, because seeing like a needle go into your body, you're like, what the fuck? Because it goes in like hella inches. Mm -hmm. So actually like doing it this way. Feels better. Oh shit. You okay? That was a good, that was a good response. Good response, okay. Yeah. Dude, you are needled. <laughs> That's a lot of needles. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hook you up. This is kind of cool because uh, sometimes it'll make the muscles jump because mm -hmm. it can actually contract the muscle. When we turn it up uh, a lot, <laughs> usually people can't turn uh, tolerate that. Though. All right, we're gonna hit this muscle. Uh, you actually, you really got a good one there. All right, I'm telling you, Bart, you are gonna love this treatment session. You're gonna get up and feel really good. Okay, uh, we're sh we're electrocuting you right here first. <laughs> okay. Let's just, just that side. Okay. Just so it's gonna go here. Yep. And then up here. Okay. Then here. Okay. And then up okay. on the right side. Okay. okay. Yep. 
All right, here we go. Turn it up. So there's a fine, really like small window of not filling it to being too strong. <laughs> so I try to go as slow as I can. And then a lot of the time it goes too high and I have to back it up. I feel it. Okay. Do you want it higher? Uh, I think that's good. I feel it just feels static. Okay, good. All right, now we're shooting up here. So we want to stop. That's good. Okay. And then right side. Yep. Okay. Left, uh, right side up top. Yep, I feel it. Okay. All right, so 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. All right. So we're going to turn off the electrical stimulation and pull the needles. How long has it been? It's been 10 minutes. Okay. Yep. All right, turning them off. <laughs> I didn't want to come out. No, yeah, because I had it twisted. Sometimes I have to unwind the needle before it will let me pull it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, um, it's a scraping tool. Um, and this is a really cool tool. It has a electrical stimulation and vibration embedded in it. So he'll feel like they'll, as I scrape, he'll feel that electrical stimulation, which brings more blood flow. And that's the whole idea behind all this is increasing blood flow for greater healing, faster recovery. Things are getting naughty. Yeah. Got the vibrator and the lotion. <laughs> All right, here we go. And again, this just like compounds the effect of the needling. Because you're stretching all those muscle fibers that haven't that you haven't been able to stretch because of those tight knots and trigger points. Yeah, I didn't realize I had all those knots in my erectors. Yeah, and that's one thing. The first time I treat someone, I'm not going to stick someone with 30, 50 needles. Yeah, you know? it's kind of figuring out what's going to work best for that person, doing with like the least amount of needles as possible. And then I kind of tweak things as I treat them um, and figuring out uh, okay well that that muscle wasn't the problem let's try a different muscle and we get more and more effective as we go I think we hit it on the head today erectors with the multifidus and then your glute med and piriformis that's just your money trigger points that need to be released so I'm real cool about these grass and tools, um, especially on ligaments that are sprained and unstable, is um, you actually can strengthen up a ligament and make it thicker by doing cross friction massage on it. So yeah, they did a, I remember a study that was done where they ultrasound, they did an ultrasound on ligaments that were sprained and 50% of the, um, the participants got just typical physical therapy and the other half got um, typical physical therapy with the cross friction Graston um, friction right here on the on the ligaments and uh, they ultrasounded them after I don't know how long it was maybe a month two months but they ultrasounded ligaments after and those that got the cross, fr cross friction um, massage with these tools the ligaments were thicker and healthier so really cool so I'll, 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 that's what I'm doing right now is I'm getting in these sprain ligaments and really going after them all right man I'll wipe the lotion off and we're gonna do some active release on your piriformis and glute med and those muscles will be loose you're going to bring the leg forward and down. 
forward and, and then restart here and then forward and down okay okay yep so i'm going to start here yep and then as you move through that motion i'm going to massage across the whole muscle okay so we're stretching it at the same time as massaging it okay working out any little kind of kinks in those trigger points that didn't go worked out with the with the needle okay okay so okay so right there ready and go And if you need a break, tell me. All right, now we're going to do the glute meet. I feel like when I had sciatica, I needed someone to do that to me. Oh, my gosh. Because sciatica, I, it could literally feel like a shooting pain. Yeah. And it felt like it was like a nerve, like getting stuck on the pelvis somewhere. Yeah. And I felt like that would have helped so much. So it probably came from uh, the piriformis. Oh. So the sciatic nerve goes right underneath the piriformis. Oh, I see. So if that's clamped down it's yeah. actually putting pressure on the sciatic nerve so if it's not coming from the back yeah sciatica is like a general term for nerve being pinched yeah 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 technically if it's coming from the back it's called radiculopathy oh, okay um but everyone numbness pain down the leg it's all generalized under sciatica i see yeah yeah so that, was come the, from that was here, the worst pain it's ever it felt. come from here yeah yeah mine i think came from here dude and i would Feel it shoot all the way down yeah. to the bottom of my feet dude if i did this on you while you had those symptoms eh, you would have been healed from that pretty dang quick yeah yeah, yeah i think i had it for like two months <laughs> two months yeah it was so bad but, yeah we would have gotten you out of that much quicker than that okay so glute mead you're gonna actually um come back leg straight leg straight. leg straight back and then go um off the back of the table okay yeah. okay you might maybe take a couple inches this way scoop yeah okay that way you can so like this leg. and then down and down okay. yep okay so ready yep and up and as you go down i push okay yep okay yeah i'm sorry same thing on the other side. Okay. I feel like powerlifters are the most retarded athletes in the world. <laughs> because all this for a sport that can't buy you a Lambo. <laughs> you know, I feel like in the NBA or NFL, it's like, it's like, okay, for sure that makes sense. But then it's like, yeah, you don't get paid for what this is just to hit PRs, brother. <laughs> <laughs> So which one? Which one is no, this one? One is going bending and going down. So like bend and then down. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, there's still there's definitely crunchy tissue. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah, it's it's getting worked out a little bit. Okay, good. Oh. All right, so about three inches this way. And then legs straight, lifting and off, then off the back. Yep. I cannot do this on a typical client that's not a bodybuilder that can't take this kind of treatment. Yeah. I, I, I definitely... I'm seeing like like a 50 year old like a grandma person yeah that's it that has back pain yeah I definitely like ease up my treatment so I'm not so aggressive I hurt my back but I definitely if they can tolerate it geez they oh. definitely get better faster <laughs> yeah that's what I noticed I'm like if you could just suck it up it you actually heal so much faster on the back so we're gonna do some PNF stretching Start with the um, with the piriformis. Okay, ready and push. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Let me hold it for five. One, two, three, four, five, and push. Two, three, four, five, and relax. Now hold it. One, two, three, four, five, and go. 
One, two, three, four, five, and relax. One, two, three, four, five, and go. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. One, two, three. Well, let me hold it for ten. We'll just have this one be the last one. Okay. Awesome. Then this one. I feel like it's getting better because I don't think you I could put. I couldn't even push against you last so, time. Well, and you were your knee was way further closer to your chest. Mm -hmm. Your piston was way more released than it was. Nice. Day one, you were tight. Nice. Okay, so I'm stabilizing your pelvis and then going across your body that way. And then I push against this way. Yeah, let me get it to end range first. And and then go one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And go one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And go one, two, three, four, five, and relax. I'm just gonna take it at the end range and hold. Okay. Other side. Okay. And push. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. And push. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. And push. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Hold it. One. Two, three, four, five, and push. Two, three, four, five, relax. Hold it for about 10. Okay, and then across this knee. A lot of people do it with the leg straight yeah. and then go across the body. Yeah. Which if that's comfortable for you, you can do that stretch on your own. Yeah. It really targets the glute max. Okay. Yeah. But for me, Especially with people with SI, yeah, it's it's it puts the SI in a more stable position mm -hmm. to have the knee up. I see. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And push one, two, three, four, five, relax. And go one, two, three, four, five, relax. And go. One, two, three, four, five, relax. And yeah, let me just finish up this hold. Okay, all right. Okay, T tape, we're done. I feel like this is the best it's been. Oh, yeah, I feel like you're 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 getting more range. Yeah, I feel feels you're really not good. As tender with the mo the the movement. Yeah. All right, three sessions. I mean, I, I'm treating you kind of aggressively because I yeah. can you're a power lifter. You yeah. can handle it. But again, like if, if people can tolerate this kind of treatment, yeah. they're healing so much. Yeah, I, can, I, I feel it. I feel like, and I think, um, so like the last three weeks, my squat progressions have literally been like a plate, maybe like two plates. Today I hit 350, but it was like rough. But I actually feel like I could hit 400. Like, like it feels good. Uh, pain free maybe even saturday yeah and the, again this is this is my third visit the only third time yeah and it's two weeks yeah this is from from uh before i hit him up i would approach the bar on deadlift day and even just picking up the bar i'm oh shit today i can't we gotta like switch exercises and do dumbbells or something but yeah it's been very very helpful cool yeah so kind of just bending over slightly over yeah. the edge of the table okay so what is this? Uh, KT tape. Um, it's voodoo tape. <laughs> Dude, I feel good. I can jump actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, like yeah, it feels the, really the good. Spots that I needed, the treatment today, uh, it was it was solid for you. But so yeah, you're not getting any pain with the pain yeah. No, this feels really good. No, oh, like, I think I think the erectors really helped like yeah. continue. Um, Tightness, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, feels so, really good. So zero, zero right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is incredible, actually. This feels like how it felt when I was 39. 
How old are you? No, I'm 39 right now. Oh, okay. I'm turning 40 this year. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. That's it. But if, it was that's crazy because I hit, when I was 37, 38, I hit all kinds of PRs on lifts. Yeah. So I'm crushing this aging thing. And then this year, it was just like, everything starts breaking. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I'm like, yeah. what? It's just one year makes that kind of a difference. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, you get one injury and it just kind of calms Yeah, everything explodes. I'm like, yeah, but before, before the video, me and Bart were chatting about like, how acute pain becomes chronic pain yeah you know and so when we have acute pain when we get an injury our brain shuts down our strength so like in, in our strength and our stability starts to shut down and if we don't treat it if we don't treat that acute pain that's when it turns into chronic pain uh, so we want to get our acute pain treated as fast as possible so it doesn't become chronic yeah yeah, so KT tape, um, there's a lot of theories behind it. Um, but one of the theories is that it kind of has like a, a stretch. So you're putting on tape that stretches and it lifts the skin off like pain receptors. And then another one is like, again, like a neurological response almost where where it tells the muscles that need to be fired to firing and it and it creates that stability of joints too so yeah they don't they don't know exactly why it works but i put it on all my patients because it decreases that soreness after treatment as well that you get the next day from needling this is si joint taping method and erector spiny tape method which you got both so it creates more stability all right man thank you so much this was great this is a really really good session um i think each time like he was saying like not only does he learn more about the injury and how to treat it but each time like we give a lot of feedback and he actually texts me a lot I'll like, oh, try this exercise, try this exercise, does this feel good? And then we go back and forth. And as I'm like lifting weights, giving them feedback, each treatment becomes that much more focused and more effective. So this is three sessions in. I feel like I don't want to jinx it, but this is, man, the, me being able to move like this is crazy. Feels really good. Um, I feel like probably by the end of next week, I'll be healed, it feels like. Which is awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Look, people you. that are in the Vegas area or LA area or even greater, you know, like if you're in town, um, where can they find you if they want to get uh, healed up? Yeah. So the best place is probably the Instagram because it, my website is listed there. Um, so again, my Instagram handle is advantage underscore physical therapy. And then my, again, my, my website's on that. I am a mobile physical therapist. I cover the west side of I-15, um, and uh, and then if, geez, if you're out of town, you can come to my house. <laughs> I have a, like a treatment uh, office set up cool. in my house, so if like if if people do um, uh, need that and they're just not finding success anywhere else, I'm telling you, 75% of my clients are people that have failed everywhere else chiropractors months and months and months of chiropractors other physical therapists out out outpatient physical therapy clinics where it's all exercise based and i provide a home exercise program to people so they're doing that um, on their own and i'm doing the manual therapy for to increase that blood flow to increase the healing of the ligaments the um the the muscles and get those released muscles so and causing more stability and joints. So the combination between the exercises and that manual therapy that I do for 60 minutes, it's it's pretty life-changing for um, some of the people. I showed Bart one of the reviews from one of my clients and she said, like, I've changed her life. Yeah, or even Justin. Like, I've yeah. he, he used to lift that barbell for maybe five, six, seven years. I've seen him crush insane weights. I've seen him get injured for two three years and he was kind of like in a slump and you know when you're when you're an athlete and your body doesn't function the way you want to you get down on yourself and in this recent year i've seen uh justin like climb back up he's in 650 again 
on squats and so when he reached out and goes dude i got a guy and he will fix your lower back i was like okay i have to check him out because if it works with him uh, it'll probably work for me so if you're in the vegas area let's say you go to a crazy ass rave or something and you twist your back hit him up and he'll fix you before you go home thank you so much hey thanks bart and uh we just dropped or about to drop the black letter collection too i'm rocking it right now this tea and then the shorts so make sure you stay tuned for that i believe it's may 8th uh on wednesday so see you guys in the next episode hopefully i'll be hitting way bigger weights because i'm here peace <laughs>